Hi, Cat Cool uh, back again uh, with another video. Uh, this is a follow on video to, um, to the one showing you how to get uh, PS2 games working on your PC. This is specific uh, to games that require a steering wheel. Uh, we're going to uh, show you how to get the steering wheel working um, on uh, on the emulator. Right, first thing we're going to need to do is to download the uh, the USB Q Emu wheel mod, uh, which is here. Um, and all you do is just click download over here and download that. And that's really tiny, right? And then you'll use uh, WinRAR, which you should have installed from my if you've uh, used my previous guide uh, to get it all set up, right? And all you'll have in there is just a, a little uh, DLL file. That's it, right? So you just click Extract to, and just extract it to there. Um, and then what you will do is is go to that folder which is here as you can see I had a lot of folders trying to get this to work uh, it took me several hours to figure this out um, right so what you will do is you right click on this click copy and then go to the folder where your um, hang on I'll just make this big um, where your uh, emulator is installed so it should be in here yeah there it is there it is right go into plugins right and then just paste that in there I'm not gonna do that because I've already got it in there uh, as you can see um, and you just paste it into there and uh, then what you need to do is need to open your emulator obviously right so what you will need to do is go to config and then back into the plugins and BIOS selector and then click on the plugins one here and then what you will have to do is if you click on this USB one because that's pretty much useless and what I because it's set on that USB null driver just click the drop down at the end and select uh, your um, USB driver wheel like that and then click apply and OK I'm not going to apply that because I already had it set up and then all you will do is go to config and then USB and you'll notice it says USB driver wheel and then you go to plug-in settings now in this one um, you, you'd select pad wheel device in there uh, port 1 D input just don't bother with any of the configure um, for the moment um, right now if you emulated wheel now if you're playing uh, Gran Turismo 4 Driving Force Pro, GT Force uh, will be the best ones. Now, if you're playing Gran Turismo 3, then you will need to select uh, Driving Force because that's the um, that's the only wheel that Gran Turismo 3 supports. Um, so you will need to do that. But I mean, you can go with GT Force or Driving Force Pro. I just leave it on Driving Force Pro to be honest, and it feels feels great feels fine right so the next thing you would need to do is go to configure and this is where you configure your steering wheel basically you click your reassign button and then you just do uh, what you know what you need like obviously for this particular one you click reassign and then turn the wheel to the left and and it uh, it bring up those numbers They'd be maybe different on yours depends what steering wheel you've got um, and basically uh, that's that's pretty much it 
you'd assign every single button to your wheel. Um, and the other things that I did, uh, global options, was uh, linearity. I put that in the middle. I can't remember if these were in the middle as standard, but uh, that's what I did. Uh, turn the gain up on the force feedback and the force multi I, uh, I put it on the fourth mark as you can see there didn't tick any of these two and uh, tick this for bypass bypass startup calibration it's basically uh, it used to calibrate steering wheels um, when you used to load up up your games on the PS2, well, I've bypassed that because because my wheel, I've got a Fanatec wheel, and it it um, it calibrates itself when you first turn the wheel on, so I don't need that. Um, so I didn't bother. Uh, you might need to let it calibrate your particular wheel. It depends what wheel you're using, really. Uh, if it has its own self calibration um, thing when you turn your wheel on then that's fine uh, but you may need to enable that if yours doesn't um, and uh, and that's pretty much it uh, you just click OK click OK and uh, and then you're good to go um, you know that's that's everything you should need to get up and running um, so um, so that's pretty much it I hope this helps out some people um, I I thoroughly enjoyed playing it again, and uh, you know Gran Turismo 4. It's, it's, it feels like a timeless game to me. It's you know it's still as good as the day when I was first playing it. So it's uh, it's great. But uh, I hope it's of use to some people this video. And uh, I'd just like to say many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.